evolution of the boa. I think this is going to be a really interesting video because I don't think I've ever done anything like this before. Uh, basically taking an older robot and then showing gameplay of that but also showing gameplay of an improved version uh, of it. So I guess in this case it's the Cerberus. Um, they look really similar. You know one has uh, you know one medium the other one has two mediums. This has obviously the Aegis shield and the ability but um, the design kind of looks the same. So <laughs> we're going to be running the boa today. Um, man, it's been ages since I've run the boa. Uh, we do have the Thunder and Orkin on here. You're going to notice I don't have any passive modules. Um, no active either. So I can't even like uh, use advanced repair. Um, you know, here are the uh, pilot skills. And, you know, this is kind of where all the healing is going to be because I have mechanic as well. And then we have the uh, Cerberus with the same weapon set up here orkin and thunder um, except we have passive modules and active as well and uh, here are the uh, skills and then the uh, rest on my hangar we have the hellburner we have the falcon once again and we have the blitz and here's the nodens but the main focus is really going to be on the gameplay you know of these uh, two bots i'm actually going to run two games and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's hop into game number one. Okay, so we've dropped in on Dead City map. And I've started with the Hellburner first. I'm just watching this uh, right side to see what's going on here. Because I think these guys are going to be attacking. Yeah, what is this guy in? Not sure what that guy's in. But we're going to go for this guy anyways. Let's do that and I'm thinking you know once I'm out of this uh, wait a minute is that guy gonna get our home beacon there once I'm out of this uh, bot I'm thinking maybe I should drop in with the uh, I'm just gonna use that maybe I should drop in with the boa next because I think there's a lot of guys here you know what's gonna happen <laughs> Incoming! Oh shoot, here we go. And remember, I've got like overdrive on this thing. So when I detonate, oh Jesus is gonna be, this is gonna be another story. And he's gonna probably drop in here, right? So I gotta stay close to this side. Oh jeez. Ah, he was smart, he used a falcon. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna drop in with the boa first. You know, show you gameplay of the boa and then. After this, I'll drop in with the uh, Cerberus, depending on how things go. This guy's firing missiles at me. Oh, man. Good thing I have at least the uh, mechanic uh, skill on here. That's the only thing I have going for me right now. <laughs> if this Aljung moves in, I'm, I'm totally going to be toast. Is there anyone else here to help me out? Guys? <laughs> this bow is already counting its days here. I'm going to try to actually get this guy... And I might have to give up this beacon here. So I just try to bait that, that player. Because he's going to move around this corner here. Nope. He, no, he definitely wants a piece of me. Oh, shoot. Well, you know what? We went up against a Natasha. We took out the Natasha. Yes. This is good. This is good. Come on. Yes. Two kills. <laughs> I had to go around the corner there. I almost gave up this beacon. I don't typically uh, play that way. Um, but we are healing up. So I think... You know what? I'm just going to be patient. Get my health back. And then we can try another attack here. And then afterwards I'm going to drop in with the... Uh, with the Cerberus. So we're going to be uh, sneaky here. Try to steal some kills. Like this guy over here. Thank you. <laughs> This guy, he, he caught me. Wait, what is... Holy oh, shoot! Okay, that's one thing that I cannot go up against. But I can get this guy. Whoa, we got a rampage with a bow up. Oh, come on. Come on. I gotta get this kill. Godlike, godlike, godlike. Come on, godlike. Oh, someone stole it, man. We almost got a god... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, man, someone leached onto me. Wait, wait, this guy's almost... Ah, oh, shoot. 
Oh man, I'm gonna get totally smoked. Oh, you know what? That was a pretty good run. I'm happy with that. Uh, we're gonna lose this side though. Let's drop in with the Cerberus now. Something tells me I'm gonna do better with <laughs> with the Boa than I did with the Cerberus here. So we have obviously more firepower with this. You know, we have an Aegis shield and also we can heal and, you know, use phase shift and stuff like that. So we're just covering this beacon. That guy's moving to the uh, right side. Whoa, these guys have a lot of uh, Mings out here. Let's just move this way. It's going to make the game a little bit more exciting, I think. We are burning up, though. I'm trying to move over to the side so I can maybe go for this other beacon. Oh, try to get him. Yeah, we need to push a beacon here, guys. Like, quick. And what does this guy have? I think it's an Ao Jung or something. So I'm just watching my uh, shield here. I'm going to use my phase shift just to delay it. Um, he's not really on this beacon, so that's going to help. Okay, i just wait. Here we go. Where is this other guy here? Actually, let's go for this guy. Almost got him. Maybe I can get this one here. I have to go for a beacon because otherwise we're going to end up uh, losing this. Oh shoot. Let's just try to suppress this guy. I'm going to be going down though. The guy behind me is going to get me. Holy jeez. Can I get him another shot? So you can already see kind of the, you know, the advantages of the Cerberus here. Um, you know what, let's use the Blitz. Yeah, I suppressed him. Let my weapons cool down a bit. There we go. I think we should have this game under wraps here. And these weapons on the Blitz are actually pretty effective. This is why I think like the Atomizer and the Nucleon are more likely to actually get a buff. I think, did I suppress this guy? Yeah, that's not really going to do much damage to me until, of course, my ability wears off. Which is going to be now. There we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, now we got a problem. Because this is going to take me forever here to deal with this guy. Whoa, that's pretty far. He's trying, I'm trying to get his, him to turn his back here. <laughs> My teammate should be able to uh, just do that. Okay, so I think I need to get another beacon here because uh, obviously it's like we've been four cap. If I can get to this beacon, then maybe. I'm surprised my teammates gave up all the beacons like that though. Yeah, I'm, I don't think we're gonna end up winning here. Nope, I couldn't get him. I, I can't get off this beacon. I think it's because we gave up our that right beacon. Whoa! <laughs> I'm trying to stay on this beacon, but unfortunately we couldn't win it. I think what happened was we gave up our right side, and you know that just caused the team to uh, lose. But anyways, uh, let's take a look to see how we did here. I did capture seven beacons. 
Uh, this player didn't really score very high, so I'm wondering if they maybe crashed or something, but we ended up uh, doing 2.5 uh, million, 9 kills, 7 beacons, and that was with the Boa. The Boa had a pretty good run. <laughs> Surprisingly better run than the Cerberus, which is funny, because, you know, obviously it has less firepower, doesn't have passive or active modules. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at uh, this player here. And this is what he's running. Whoa, level 150 Arthur. So he's doing pretty good on his uh, his Titan there. And uh, this player here, uh, this one is from Android side. And let's take a look at what he's running. So he is running a maxed out Ao Ming. And uh, pretty maxed out on everything else. A um, couple of pilots that are kind of getting there too. And uh, let's take a look at this player here. And uh, there we go. I think this might have been the uh, the Hellburner that tried to get me at the end. I'm not sure. Okay, and uh, I guess let's take a look at the honor points here for this uh, game. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I am going to switch up the weapons for the Boa and the Cerberus. Just so we have some more variety. And it makes uh, things a bit more interesting, I think. And I'll see you guys in game number two. Okay, so we've dropped in on Dead City map, and we have a Fury with Zenits. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we are down a player. I mean, this guy's going to be firing marshmallows um, the whole game here. Um, I started with the Hellburner, made sure we get, you know, the beacons. Actually, wait, I probably want to go to this right side, because you can almost be sure these guys are going to give up this beacon. There's no one on this right side. So you see how... You notice how they all moved away from this right side. Watch what happens to the game. Actually, wait. We might be able to stop this guy. Okay, he's down to his uh, his last stand. I don't think he was expecting me to... Uh... There we go. There's another guy over there. Um, hmm. You know what? I really want to move from this beacon. I'm just going to go for it. We need to get another beacon here. Because we are playing one player down. I know there's a Fury with Zenits back there. But trust me. <laughs> we're down a player. So let's see if I can maybe get close to this wall. If this guy flies above me. I might still be able to hit him with the detonation. Let's do that. And. There we go. Come on, are you serious? Well, this guy too. Oh shoot! Oh gosh! One, <laughs> one detonation. The thing is, I'm using. I think I'm using two overdrive units on here. This might be one shot too. No, but I'm sure they took a lot of damage there. Drop in with the boa. Yes, the boa saved the day. And what's going on over here? Guys, we probably want to hold down this side here. Don't let the boa do all the work. The heck is hitting me back there? Whoa, did I just see a falcon disappear in front of me? Dude's got the blink ability, man. Um, we gotta watch out for that player. That's an Al, Al Jung there. Let's just move over to the side. We need to try to see if we can steal some kills here. And we can definitely do that over here. If I can get this guy. You know what? I was running a couple of games with, you know, this build. And these weapons on the Boa make such a big difference. Compared to the Thunder Orkin build, it's kind of crazy actually. What is this guy in? Okay, that's a Hades. Let's try to get this guy here. I'm not sure what this guy's in. Let's try to get this kill here if we can. There we go, a bit of lag. We gotta back up here. And also there's this guy. Gotta get him up. He triggered his ability, but there's a leech behind me. 
Yep, his ability wore off. We might be able to kill him. Come on, Boa. Come on. Come on. Yes. And maybe this guy too. Trying to move back and forth here so some of his uh, shots miss me. Oh my gosh, am I seriously going to kill this guy? He had to go in a phase shift. Come on, dude. Yes. <laughs> How's that, guys? <laughs> Not bad, right? These guys are probably thinking I'm cheating right now, man. It's like, what kind of bot is that that just smoked me? Must be one of those new operation uh, bots. Wait a minute. What's this guy in? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm gonna try to corner shoot here. That's one thing the bow is really good at. There we go. These guys just brought out their titans here. Okay, so I'm probably gonna lose this engagement. But you know what? Oh jeez, I'm still alive. That was a that was actually a really good run with the boa once again. We're gonna drop in with the uh, Cerberus next. And you know what? Let's get this guy. Lock him down. This is one thing that's really nice about this uh, Cerberus too. Titan Slayer. Um. We can't let this guy get this beacon, guys. Land, dude. There we go. I'm gonna see if I can actually... Um, what is this guy in? Okay, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get some good footage here of this because I've got to keep my distance from this guy. And I don't usually move away from a beacon like this, just so you guys know. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is only because of the footage, right? So let's try to perhaps get him from this angle here. Because if I can lock him down and hit him like this, that's going to help. There we go. So the biggest advantage I find like with the Cerberus over the Boa, other than you know passive and active modules, is really the ability and the extra weapon. Especially in the current uh, you know environment. We're dealing with these bots with all this resistance, and you kind of need that firepower for it. Yeah, this is going to be a bit tricky here. I'm going to... I don't want to back away from this guy, but I'm just going to do this anyway here. And that, that weapon actually helps a lot, especially when it comes down to dealing with the uh, Titans. I want to see if I can perhaps get another beacon here, if possible. Because we have been four-capped here, and our beacon is going to be dropping uh, really fast. Trying to get another beacon here. Nope, that's not gonna do it. Well, actually, wait, maybe. We, we're getting a third beacon. Now I have to really stay on this beacon, though. Um, what's happening over here? We're gonna drop in with the... Uh, with the uh, Falcon. We need to get another beacon, though. Because if you take a look at the uh, the beacon bar, yeah, we need to we need to push this side. Because if they have three, I think we're going to end up losing this game. Yeah, so it might be it might be two losses here. Yeah, we definitely need to get. I'm just going for it. I don't think we're going to get. We <laughs> we need another beacon just to slow the uh, bar dropping. I think even if I take this guy out here. So unfortunately, <laughs> two losses, but I had a really good run with the Boa once again. And uh, somewhat of a decent run with the Cerberus, which is funny because the Boa has no ability. Maybe it was just me playing it more carefully. Uh, but we ended up uh, doing 3.6 million, 12 kills, 5 beacons uh, in this game. Unfortunately, a second loss, but that's okay. Um, let's take a look at uh, this player over here. I can't take a look at the other player because I think he's from iOS or something. Um, this is what this guy is running. 
And also, we got to remember, there was a guy on our team with the uh, Fury Zenit. Um, I want to say it was this guy, but let's take a look at this one here. It could have even been this player. No, it was probably, um, it was probably the other guy. But uh, yeah, usually when I see a player with a Fury Zenit, uh, you know, on or in the hangar, rather, that means you're down a player. Okay, so yeah, let's take a look at the other team. And this is what he's running. And he also has a Cerberus here with Scourge and Viper. The uh, Scourge and Calamity build's pretty good too. And I can't take a look at these players here because um, they are probably on iOS, maybe Amazon. Uh, this player is from Android and they actually haven't even been ranked yet. Okay, and this is what he's running. And before we end things, let's just take a look at the honor points. And there's the honor points for the second game. Okay, so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. More of an evolution of the boa, you know, moving to the Cerberus. If you guys want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comment section because uh, this was a lot of fun to make in terms of just like the gameplay and all, uh, you know, comparing the two. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.